this right here is my Lego pendulum clock. Stands about four feet in height with several battery boxes as the weight. Has an auto winder which winds it up about every two hours. An anchor escapement right here down the bottom. This is the weight drum. Differential for the auto winder, the auto winder motor over there. It's two big empty spaces on the sides of the timekeeping mechanism. So right here, I'm gonna plan I'm planning to add some sort of bell striking mechanism. And over here I'm gonna have some sort of system that operates a music box, which will like move these figures too up uh, up here. And also open this door with some figures behind this. So the auto winder, this auto winder mechanism has never failed. It's really good. So you can see right here, what happened is at a certain point, this little piece would push this switch over the side, activating the auto winder, which will wind the weight back up. And the weight's back at the top again. That's this lever's pushing the other direction, causing the auto winder to turn off. It does run a little fast after a winding. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Some glow-in-the-dark pieces on the pendulum to make it a little more interesting to look at at night. It does just look really cool when you see those little glow-in-the-dark pieces moving back and forth. A little, little golden flag at the top for decoration. doesn't really do anything other than that. That's pretty much it. 